Hey, what's up, everybody? Just got back from seeing 5050 in theaters. A movie about a guy who goes into the doctor because his back is hurting and finds out he has cancer. Um, and then finds out he has a 5050 shot of living. It stars Joseph Gordon Levitt, Anna Kendrick, and Seth Rogen. And actually, I found out it's apparently based off a true story about Seth Rogen's best friend who had cancer. So, um, uh, when I was going into this movie, I really only want to go see it because Joseph Gordon, Joseph Gordon Levitt is one of my favorite actors and uh, if it wasn't for him I probably wouldn't have gone to see it. It looked too much like funny people. I mean with Seth Rogen in it I just as soon as I saw the trailer it looked good but funny people looked really good and I was really disappointed with funny people so I was not too, I didn't have too many too high of expectations for this movie um, but it was really good. I'm glad I went to see it much better than funny people uh, the acting was great from everybody. Um, Anna Kendrick, I think that's her name. She's in Twilight movies, and um, I really don't like her too much normally as an actress, but she was really good in this. Um, Seth Rogen, who, you know, he plays his usual kind of like, you know, half a hole, half good guy sort of character. And, uh, you know, he's funny, he's good. He was, he was fine in the movie. Seth Rogen, basically. <laughs> And uh, that was good. Joseph Gordon-Levitt, I think, did an excellent job. He, he did a really good job of going through the uh, emotional steps, basically finding out you have cancer, what you do, going through chemotherapy, you know, shaving his head. I think he did a fantastic job. There's a lot of scenes in the movie where he doesn't have any dialogue, and he's just kind of sitting in a waiting room, sitting at a bus stop, or sitting at home, saying nothing. There's a lot of acting with the eyes, the facial expressions, and um, I think he did a really great job with it. Um, only reason... I went to go see it, and I did a fantastic job. Um, this uh, this movie, I would say, is definitely one of those movies, though, that I wouldn't recommend going to, going to see in theaters. Not because it's not good enough, but just because it it's one of those movies you want to take home and rent, you know, sit down on the couch and relax and watch. It's more of a personal movie. When you have, like, a bunch of people around you and everything, it's, it's not... It's, it's, it was good in theaters, but I'd rather be sitting at home relaxing and watching it. And um, so I would say rent it when it comes out. And it has a it has a really good, this movie has a really good, like, it's not just drama, though. You know, it's like there's some scenes where real tearjerkers, you know. It's really, it's a pretty emotional movie, but it's also got some uh, comedy. It's pretty funny. And it's not, like, weird where it's, you know, mixed up so that you feels, you know, just kind of like an odd combination of, funny and kind of drama and it's one of those weird movies that it flows well it feels sort of realistic in the way that how you would kind of deal with this you know what people you meet along the way who's really going to be there for you you know your best friend is your girl you know your girlfriend going to stay there your mom and it kind of uh finds him like rekindling relationships with his his mom and his parents and everything and it's kind of makes you think about you know you know, what you would do in that situation, which I think is what they were trying to accomplish with the movie. So uh, I think they did a great job. Um, everyone, I would say, go rent it when it comes out.